what's good? Welcome back to Irish Dragon Gaming. This one, this one's a special one, because I am playing Chandelure, but I am playing it against a Cramorant that I have a particular grudge against, because the previous match, immediately before this one, this guy was on my team as a Water or Shifu. And I don't know why or what happened, but he literally did nothing all match except grab as much farm as he could from our side of the map and then base and spam thanks. I don't know why. I don't know why. But that's what he did for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Steal as much farm as possible from his own team and then spam thanks. So, it's a little bit of a grudge match that I am... I was thrilled to be on the other side of the map against this guy immediately after that match. Unfortunately, I'm playing a build I'm slightly unfamiliar with, so I was a little bit nervous, but I, I think the think the Irish Dragon Rage inside was more than enough to overcome learning a new move set. And that is Flamethrower Poltergeist. This is a different one than the other videos I've been playing, because I want to give you guys an idea of both of them, let you see how both of them kind of work. That way when you get when you pick it up if you haven't already, you have an idea of which one you like better. Now flamethrower. It's got this line that ends in a circle. You want to hit your targets in that circle. Because if you hit them in the middle of that, or if you miss all together, Flamethrower's got a, a pretty long cooldown. But if you hit your targets inside that circle area, you get a pretty drastic cooldown reduction. And that works on both enemy Pokemon and wild Pokemon. So try to, try to fight the enemy around wild Pokemon that you can keep in that area in case you can't keep them at that distance you need to. But... Poltergeist does help with that, because it puts an area effect down with floating chairs in it. It's pretty dope. It looks really cool. But it slows the enemy, and if they run into those chairs, they, they get damaged from them. So it allows you to kite back and keep them at the range you need for your cooldown reduction. The items I'm running are Choice Specs, Wise Glasses, and Slick Spoon. And the emblems for this are just green and black emblems for special attack damage and cooldown reduction. So, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep living the dream. by myself.
just roaming the map. We're pushing three, three attackers pushing. Let's go. down. Now next. Maybe. Alright, flamethrower was pretty cool. Ugh. Yep. I want to hang on this slow, bro. Farm some damage and stuff. Only four? Four chaos? Well, four and twelve. I'm, I'm a support chandelier. Chandelier. I'm a support chandelier. Oh, what was that, Unite? What's up, bud? Hello. What up? Not yet. Yeah. Just got me a. F Looks like I'm going to get me a flamethrower poltergeist win. Play to Lapras this time, guys. I know Lapras has been the bane of my existence. Oh, they got me. They got me. Dang it. But I got my slow bro out of there. Nice. Jeez, we got him. We got a, we got a flamethrower win. I, I still think overheat's better. I like. I think overheat's better. But let's see the damage numbers. I feel like it was good damage. Support, S support chandelier. Got, got double digit assists. That's what we were doing today. We were helping. We were assisting. Oh, but we did get MVP. 1470 points secured every objective I was at 80k damage not bad not bad GG's